To start a new wave, click the New Wave button. Type your message, and when you're done, you'll be able to add a contact. You can also add a contact by dragging them from the Contacts panel right into the wave. There are several ways to reply to a wave. You can click the Reply button, or to reply within a message, double-click and select Reply. You can also use the blue line to reply to blips. Shift Enter is very useful in Wave. When I'm done editing my content, I can click the Done button, but I can also hit Shift Enter. I see Greg typing and I want to respond. Shift Enter opens up a new message. Any participant on a wave can edit and reply all at the same time. When others are typing, you can see their names appear. This means you can have chat and email-like conversations all in one wave. Spelly helps you with spell correction. Can I have some bean soup? To add a new contact to a wave, click the plus button. If the person is not already in your contacts, you can type in their address and click Add to Contacts. You can manage all your contacts by clicking at the bottom of your contacts panel. Spacebar can be used to navigate between unread messages. Playback lets you view the history of a wave. You can pick up the slider and move to anywhere. Use the search box at the top of the center panel to search for your waves. You can use keywords or special operators like tag. You can customize your wave panels on the screen. Just click in the space between the waves and drag your mouse. To save space, you can also minimize waves. Drop them down or restore them. Scrolly allows you to navigate through long waves. Move it or click it. Any participant on a wave can add a tag. Click the plus button and type in the tags. Click X to remove them. To create a saved search, click on the Add button. Enter the title and query, and select the options you'd like. You can even select a color for those saved searches that'll show in your inbox. To start a new folder, click the Add button. Give the folder a name and then you can drag waves right into it. When you click that folder, only those waves will show. Rosie is a robot that interfaces into Google's translation engine and allows us to translate everything in a wave in real time if we'd like to. 
I'm set up for French, Steph's set up for English. I'll add Rosie to the wave, and then say hi to her. Bonjour, Steph. As you can see, it comes up for Steph in English. What Steph types comes up for me in French. Je voudrais visite au Paris. So you see that Steph and I can communicate with each other in real time, even though we don't speak the language, using robots, Wave, and our buddy Rosie.